Hello and welcome to more Spyro Reignited Trilogy. Today we are going to be starting Rifto's Rage. We've got this first game here, Spyro the Dragon, 120% completed. There's just one loose end that I forgot to do, so we're going to do that and then we're going to go and start Rifto's Rage. So apparently if I hop inside the return portal here, after completing the final stage, we might get a little bonus cutscene. Yep, here we go, so let's check this out real quick. Spyro the dragon, you've defeated Ganasty Ganor, collected the dragon eggs, saved all the dragons, and recovered every bit of treasure in the dragon kingdom. How do you feel? I feel fired up, Bob. And I'm happy for the dragon world, of course. I certainly wouldn't want to spend the rest of my dragon days butting heads with Nasty Nork and his weird minions. What's a minion? Uh, never mind. You know what they say. For every good battle, you need a good adversary. And I felt that Nasty, in spite of his misguided nature, was a worthy opponent. Uh-oh. Here we go again. All right, so there's a little bonus cutscene at the end of Spyro the Dragon. But today, we are going to go and start Ripto's Rage. So whether you've been watching the entire series or if you skipped ahead just to get to Ripto's Rage, Let's get going, man. This is my favorite of the trilogy. I'm so excited. Let's go ahead and get started. Holy crud, dude. In the world of dragons. Is this rain ever gonna stop? I've forgotten what the sun looks like. We should go on vacation. Somewhere warm, somewhere sunny. Dragon Shores, yeah. I haven't been there since we kicked Nasty Nork's butt. How about it, Sparks? You up for a vacation at the beach? Last one there's a Nork! Is it working, Professor? Almost. Just a few more adjustments to these orbs, and... Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Bringing a dragon here could just make Ripto more angry. Calm down, Hunter, and stop fidgeting. But you saw the professor's book. They have claws like this, and teeth like this, and they can spit fire like this. <gasps> they sound much more dangerous than Ripto. That's exactly the point. A dragon is our only chance of stopping Ripto, and you know it. It's working! It's working! I've got a dragon! Huh? Whoa. Whoa! Rough landing. Hi, which way's the beach? Hmm. Huh? Hey, stop staring. Haven't you guys ever seen a dragon before? You're a dragon? You got a problem with that pussy cat? Well, well, someone forgot to invite me to the party. Were you trying to keep something from me? A dragon? You brought a dragon to Avalar? I hate dragons. Yeah! Crush! Kill it! Kill it! Go, you imbecile! You hate my scepter! I'll deal with you later! Who was that jerk? That was Ripto, and we have to get rid of him. He's causing all sorts of trouble around here, but I haven't got time to explain. Here, take this magic guide to Avalar. It'll help you begin to understand our worlds. Right now, I have to follow Ripto and see what he's up to. I'll meet you in Summer Forest, okay? Hey, wait a minute! How do we get ourselves into these messes, pal? The adventure begins! And that is instantly one of my favorite things about Ripto's Rage over the original Spyro is all of the great characters that we have. The original Spyro had 
some dragons that we would see one time, and a couple we saw twice, but we didn't really have a big recurring cast of characters like we're going to have in Ripto's Rage. So I'm very, very excited about that, man. The voice acting, all the performances in that opening cutscene were awesome. They did a great job with the casting, and I, I love how they can manage to voice Ripto and make him sound so serious, but still have that like edge of Spyro Goop at the same time. It was really great. Welcome to Glimmer. Unfortunately for us, a mob of lizards just showed up and started stealing all of our gems. Can you stop them? Uh, Pogo the Gem Cutter, I'll do my best, man. So let's go on and see if we can get these guys. So in this one, you might have noticed we don't have a bunch of dragons turned to crystal, so we're not trying to do that in this game. Instead, we're going to be collecting some other stuff. Oh, I've been playing a different game over the weekend that has uh, inverted camera controls, but this game does not have inverted camera controls. I think there might be an option for that, but by default it doesn't. So yeah, I'm kind of uh, going to have to get used to playing with a regular camera here again. But you might notice, the gems are basically the same as they were in the first game, the same uh, number divisions, however, they've got some unique shapes, which is pretty cool. So yeah, I think in Spyro 1 it was just different colors, but in this one, they actually have the different shapes, and it's a really nice detail that this remake actually keeps the, the um, original shapes. So they have the standard shapes for Spyro 1, and then they have these updated shapes for Spyro 2. Really, really cool attention to detail. They could have very easily just used the same models across all of them. But I'm glad that they, uh, well, they had that little detail added. So we're going to go ahead and keep on working through this opening area here. Same as in Spyro 1. I guess I should go over the basics for anyone who just happened to skip ahead to Spyro 2. So right here we've got these guys we can defeat, little critters. They'll drop butterflies, which will heal sparks. If we take damage, then sparks there will get damaged. And after sparks takes three hits, one more hit and he'll get killed. And, well, then we're going to die too. So we want to have sparks around. He works as our health meter, but he also picks up treasure for us. So very, very handy. So we don't have to walk into all these treasures directly. So I think so far we're good here. Let's go ahead and move on. Hi, Spyro. Oh, hey, I'm Zoe. I'm a friend of Alora's, and she asked me to help you out. Whenever you find me, I'll remember your progress. Like this. That zap means that if you get into trouble, I'll return you to this place. See you around. All right, take care, Zoe. So yeah, that is basically a checkpoint. In the first game, you would save a dragon. You would have these different dragons throughout the, the levels. And after saving the dragon in the spot where you saved them, the fairy would pop up. So it worked as a checkpoint like that. But in this one, well, since we're not going to be saving dragons, yeah, they're going to pop up in different places. Now over here, we've got this little thing, but we can't climb that. Oh, maybe they'll explain. To climb these ladders. It looks like you are too. After you learn to climb, come back to Glimmer to see me. All right, we'll do. So we will get new abilities as we progress through the game as well. Right up here, we have a great character. Oh gosh, I don't know if I want to call him great, actually. We'll talk to him in a minute. Let's go and get some treasure down this way first. And see if we can get everything this stage has to offer. Of course, we're going to get, be getting every single bit of treasure. Every single bit of everything, really. Got all of those. And by the way, we can click into the left stick here to have sparks point us to the nearest bit of treasure. So, yeah, once again, if I'm pointing out a couple of small details like that, they popped up in the first game, but just in case someone's, anyone's skipping ahead here. So we have 209 treasure to go, three other collectibles, and then a talisman to get as well. So that is all we have to get for Glimmer here. Ah, you must be the dragon everyone's talking about. Well, dragon or not, I'm afraid there is a small fee to open the bridge. It will cost you a hundred of your gems to cross. One hundred? Well, we've got more than that, so we are good to go. So yeah, we're going to have to go ahead and pay the fee. Uh, Spyro, was it? You can now use the bridge whenever you want, free of charge. I hope we meet again when you have even more gems. Yeah, so that is the main use of gems in this game, is we're going to encounter money bags. In some cases like this, you'll just open up a path to let us progress. In other cases, we might even unlock new abilities. So yeah, we're definitely going to want lots of money to talk to money bags. Yep, we'll look around with like this. So that's pretty nifty as well. Let's go ahead and defeat this guy. Hit him with that flame. So there should be another section over here. I don't know if I've missed something already, but I can just backtrack if we need to later on. So this is where the exit portal, the way out of the stage, is going to appear, but we're not nearly done yet. We'll go ahead and talk to this guy, though. Thanks for helping us fight off the lizards. Please take this talisman of Glimmer as a sign of our gratitude. There we go. So that's kind of the main thing you're going to get in a stage is a talisman, which kind of marks that you've beaten the game. Or not beaten the game, beaten the stage. We'll take you to Summer Forest, one of the home worlds of Avalar. That's awesome, dude, but we're not going to leave until we finish off the stage entirely. So let's get over to the side and keep on looking for more goodies. We had those mysterious three collectibles we have to get inside the menu, as well as, of course, lots and lots of treasure here. We're going to have to keep an eye on our um, 
our guide. Actually, I was going to say we'll have to keep a, a, an eye on our menu because since we spent that 100, well, it's not going to have those 100 at the top left. So that could be confusing. But, well, there's 400 in the stage. We spent 100. We can do some quick math and figure out that we're just going to have to get up to 300 on that counter and we'll be good to go. Just about there on this bottom section, I think. So now we have this right here. If we fly inside, maybe this guy will explain. Superflight power up is active, and you can restart our gem lamps. Flame all the lamps quickly, and the big gem lamp will light. The power up will give you enough magic to fly for a short time. Yeah, here we go. So this is another thing in Spyro 2. In the first game, the main collectible was the dragons, and you would usually just walk to a point, step onto a platform, and they would unlock. In this game, we're going to more often have to actually do little tasks to unlock things, which is pretty fun. Let's go ahead and fly on through, and let's see if we can light all these lamps. So we just have to go along and hit them with some flames, and that'll do it. So we've got six to go, or six total. Once we get them all, let's see what we get as a reward. There's that one, and then there's one more over here. And that'll do it. Thanks for helping me light the lamps, Spyro. A fairy gave me this orb, but I like gems better. You take it instead. Alrighty, Konga. So yeah, now instead of getting dragons, we're going to be collecting these orbs. So lots and lots of those to get during the game, and that is our first one. But now we can keep on using this flying ability to, well, get up to some higher areas to start unlocking some more treasure. Also got a swoop de swoop down here. That would boost us up here if we didn't get up here with the flight. So let's go ahead and fly over this way. Got a little hole in the ground. That's not going to be too important until later. Sneak around the backside here. Less than 100 treasure to get for the entire stage now. Not too worried about my flight running off because I can just go pick it up again. Just want to make sure I get all these goodies. And let's see. Sparks, where would we go next? Oh, there's some on the staircase there that I missed. So we'll glide on down there. Okay, where to next? Back over this way. Aha! There's some right here, of course. So we'll grab all those and then we'll go on through here and get to another challenge. This should give us another orb if we get it. These little lizards have eaten my entire crop of gems. I've tried hitting them with rocks, but they're too fast for me. You can try using one of my rocks. If you have any questions, just ask me. Bouncer, I ain't got no questions, but we're going to go and get this one star difficulty mission here. So we pick up the rock and then we can go ahead and aim like this and then just press A. Completely missed, dude. Okay, let's aim more properly. And there you go. One out of six down. Follow me to the next lizard. I'll do that, but I want to go and see if I can get this treasure first. And I might have to get the flying crud and then go inside here. I feel like you probably could make that jump, but I'm going to do this the lazy way and just go take this crud. And it kind of bums me out because back in the original Spyro the Dragon 2 on PlayStation 1, you could actually jump and then do a dash attack like this in the air, and it would give you basically a double jump, and you could use that to go out of bounds and skip all kinds of crud. So, I mean, it makes sense that they would skip that this time, but yeah, it's gonna be sorely missed. Let's go get to another shot up here. You can spit pretty far, Spyro. See if you can spit all the way to the lizard. I mean, I would hope so. This is gonna be required for me to beat the game, so, uh, or beat it 100% at least. So I would hope they would design it in a way that I could do it. All right, so that one's done. So that's where that, that hole was, or that's what that hole was for. Let's go on down this way. Oh, that one looks super easy to, to get. hit that lizard up high, you'll have to aim. Press the action button to aim, then press the attack button to spit. Yeah, yeah, it's basically tutorial mode at the start here. So this one's actually gonna be a moving target. Let's see if we can get him right here. Okay, the rock kind of exploded, so it worked. So we'll keep on following this guy. We're halfway done with this one. Yeah, it is a one-star difficulty. That means it's not going to be that hard, but that doesn't necessarily mean it'll be short. This is still a fairly long mission. Let's go on through here. Chase him all the way to this side. Holy crud. All right, he's going to give me a rock here. <laughs> Can I shoot money bags? What would happen if I did that? Oh, oops. I did not mean to talk to that guy. Let's go see if I can shoot money bags, dude. Oh, he doesn't even react. Okay. Oh, no, he did react. Oh, he's so mad. I'll shoot you again, bro. No, I won't. I'll, I'll go shoot this guy. Dude, <laughs> that's so funny. Moneybags turns around. So let's go up this way and see if we can get these last two. There's one, I think, up top. No, are we going all the way back to the start? All right, man. We're kind of playing the stage in reverse right now to get this one done. All right, Barry. Move along. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and save a checkpoint there. Wow, 
How far are you going to go, buddy? Going all the way over here. So give me that rock. And where is he? Okay, right up there. And got him. So one to go here. It is slightly unfortunate that the button you have to press to go first person or over the shoulder is the same button you have to press to actually talk to the guy. So that can get a little awkward. You have to get some space away. Or I guess you could click in the right stick. That also works. But um, where is this thing? Is it up top? Aha, there we go. Let's see if we can get him. And there it is, guys. Hey, you've saved my crop of gems from the lizards. Here, take this orb. Some girl with wings dropped it here yesterday. Some girl with wings. Hmm. Well, here is orb number two. I can't remember how many orbs are in the game, but I do know that in Spyro 1, there was 80 dragons. So I'm guessing there's going to be at least 80 orbs. But I also remember this game being quite a bit longer than the original game. So we'll see how long this one takes. I'm going to go back, guys, and I want to see if we can do anything more with that flying power-up, but I don't think it works in the cave, and if I'm not mistaken, we actually can't 100% the stage right now. I think we have to leave and come back at a later time when we're able to climb that ladder inside the cave, which we do not get that ability from this stage itself. But let's try this out. Can we actually fly in here with this crud? Will it last long enough? Will it actually let me do it? So yeah, we can go around and we can flame these cruds, but there's six of them, and I don't think we can do it fast enough. But I can at least get some of this treasure. I mean, I would be very happy even if we could only just get all the treasure. So there's three. I don't think we're going to be able to get all of them, though. Yeah, we can't get up there even by jumping on this big gem. So I think we're going to have to leave and come back, guys. So we'll go ahead and take the exit portal. And we'll just leave with whatever treasure we have. Right on through here. Let's get to that hub world. Probably some cutscene action as well. Ooh, our first round of treasure. Heck yeah, dude. Oh, no. Oh, hello. We didn't get a chance to introduce ourselves before. My name is Alora. Uh, hi, I'm Spyro. What are you, some kind of goat? I'm a fawn, you dork. Oh, sorry. Did you meet the gem cutters in Glimmer? Yeah, they gave me a souvenir, too. They called it a talisman. They gave you a talisman? What, is it special? I just stuck it in the guidebook you gave me. Well, there are 14 talismans in Avalar, and they are all magical. If you can collect enough of them, they can be used to defeat Ripto. <laughs> Hunter, where have you been? Oh, I, uh, got a little lost. Spyro's gonna help us collect the talismans. I am? He is. Spyro, look. There's no way you can get to Dragon Shores right now. Ripto and his monsters have taken over the castle here in the Summer Forest. You're going to have to go to Avalar's Worlds and convince the inhabitants to give you their talisman. You can keep them in your guidebook. Hey, I could do that. Why doesn't the dragon just torch Ripto? Hunter, you can't even keep track of your running shoes. How can we trust you with 14 talismans? If you come across any orbs, they're important too. But I'll tell you about them later. Okay, no problem. I'll collect a few talismans, give Ripto the old hot foot, and be in Dragon Shores by lunchtime. Dude, I love Hunter so much. All right, so here we are in our first homeworld. This one is going to have a bunch of treasure and stuff uh, to collect in the world itself. Right over here, this is what the one-ups in Spyro 2 look like. So let's go ahead and grab that and get ourselves a one-up. All right, probably going to be needing a lot of those. But yeah, so the hub world itself here, or the home world as they call it, we're going to have treasure here to collect, and it's going to be 400 as well as four orbs. I don't think we can get all of that now because it's going to kind of gradually unlock as we play through the game here. But we'll get what we can. I don't think we can go underwater right now, so we can't get anything that's underwater there. But yeah, you might have noticed we can swim in Spiral 1. Pretty much all the water in the game would damage you if you touched it, but not so much in this game. All right, let's go talk to Alora here. Spyro, this is the home world called Summer Forest. There are portals to many of the Avalar worlds around here. Unfortunately, Ripto has taken over the castle, and we need your help. Start by retrieving the talismans from each of the worlds you visit. All right, I guess I can do that. I mean, it gives me a good excuse to go to the stages. Spyro always getting roped into some random crud. 
Yeah, I mean, the first game he was trying to save his own dragon family, basically. I'm gonna drop down here, actually, because I think there's treasure down here. But in this game, he just kind of gets roped into some random crud when he's trying to go on vacation. Poor dude, poor dude. But maybe someday he'll get to go on vacation. I think it was just those two green gems. And then we've got some more on the way back out here. All right, I'm gonna leave those frogs alone. They don't need to die. I think if we kill enough critters, we might be able to get more one-ups, but I'm feeling pretty merciful right now, so we'll let them we'll let them go by. Uh, what's up, Hunter? Uh, talk to me, Hunter, please. Remember, press the jump button, then press jump again to glide. You got it, Hunter. Yeah, this game was released on multiple different platforms, so they don't say the specific button that you're pressing. They don't say B or anything. They'll just say, like, jump or the action button or, you know, kind of more generic things like that so that you, uh, whether you're playing this on the Nintendo Switch like I am or I think it's on PS4 and Xbox One and all that crud. So it, whatever you're playing it on, it'll still apply without them having to record multiple different voice lines. Right up here, we've got Hunter and he's got an orb icon above him, which means I guess we're going to get an orb from that dude. Go smash through that chest. Ooh, wow, one lone gem. Or I guess it was two, actually. So let's go up here and let's get this orb. Hey, Spyro. You look like you're pretty agile. Let's try putting it to a test. See if you can get up this first step. Press the jump button and hold it down to get more hang time. You got it. Wait, hold it down to get more hang time? Hmm. Oh, oh, hold the jump button. I thought he was saying hold while gliding for a second. No, okay, we're good. Okay, not bad. Now to make this next jump, you'll have to glide. Press the jump button, then press jump again at the top of your jump to get the maximum glide distance. All right. That one is easy peasy. We got it. Nice job. Now try to do a hover. Press the jump button, then press jump again to glide. When you reach the end of your glide, press the action button to hover. Hovering will give you extra height and distance. Right, so in Spyro 1, when you would press that button, it would just plummet you to the ground, immediately drop you. But in this game, you can press that button to do a little flutter at the end. It's so good. I love that crud. Very good. Now for the hardest leap of all. You'll have to give this one everything you've got. Get a walking start, jump, glide, and hover just before you get to the edge of the platform. Don't forget to press forward on the left stick when you hover. All right. So we have a lot to do with this one. Let's see if I can get it. Oh, that was so easy, You're man. A pretty good athlete. If I hadn't lost my running shoes, I'd take you on for real. For now, here's an orb for your collection. All right, thanks a lot, Hunter. So we got another orb right there. You can see a stage down there called Colossus. We've got a few stages to choose from at the start here. So we could go to Colossus. We could go talk to Moneybags. I think he'll give me the ability to swim. And that'll allow us to explore even more. But let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. Let's go choose some random stage here. Go and grab... Wow, I think it was a 25 gem back there. Let's go on through here. And let's get to our first stage here. Idle Springs. Or I guess our second stage, because Glimmer was technically the first one. out of our temples and stolen our food oh no not your food can't you just eat them eat them you can just eat the wood yeah well we're gonna have to go and torch those crods let's go around here dude oh man i should probably go back and buy the ability to swim from money bags it looks like we're gonna need that down here unless they give me the ability to swim inside the stage itself but i've got a bad feeling about this guys we might need to go and get that crud from money bags back in the hub world or the home world whatever you want to call it go around here real quick and I guess grab some goodies you know what guys let's go do it so I'm gonna go ahead and exit level and I'll meet you guys over by money bags so we've got a couple of gems right in front of money bags let's go talk to him and get some swimming Sorry, Spyro I'd love to teach you how to swim underwater but not as much as I'd love to take your treasure 500 okay so much for that well, let's go back inside and get 66 more, or 56 more gems then. Man, I probably should have checked how much that was going to be beforehand. 
It's okay, we added two treasure to the count there. I guess we'll go up this way to defeat this guy. Does that make this dude unlock the thing? Yeah, so we'll unlock that and we'll we'll move on. So we'll have to come back for the water stuff once we get the ability to swim. Or I guess the ability to dive, because we can technically swim on the surface, but for some reason we can't just swim underneath. It's kind of weird that we have to pay a dude to learn how to do that, but it's just how it is, man. We'll go ahead and roast this guy, knock this guy out. You might notice they have some metal shields. The metal's going to absorb our flame if we try to blast them with that, so we have to do our charge attack to get through. Same with these. These are metal pots, so we can't just flame it. Got to give those a charge to get on through. Getting pretty close to that wonderful 500 treasure mark, though. I'll probably just exit and get the upgrade as soon as I get to 500. Are making enemies oh, I just said the Zoe. Attack. If you press and hold the charge button, you can defeat them with your charge attack. Zoe, I just explained that. Oh, no. Is it going to happen, guys? Am I going to keep explaining things right before they explain them in the game? Probably. Let's go on through here, though. And we got another one up that way, so we'll grab that. Not that I really need the one-ups too badly. I'm, you know, I'm not going to die a whole, a whole ton during the series. No sorry. Another locked door up there. I think we're going to have to save these guys to get them to unlock it. Go ahead and knock this dude out. And we'll grab this as well. Sparks, do we miss anything? He's pointing up top, which means we probably don't have anything down below here. And that door's now open. Good. Let's go on through. Hey, there's that guy. Uh, he doesn't have an orb marker over his head, so I'm not going to worry about that. I noticed on the map, there's a little yellow circle. I, th I think that might be where the exit for the stage is. So that's probably important. Or maybe that's going to be somewhere where we can get an orb. We'll have to see. So at this point, guys, we definitely could go out and get the ability to swim. I'm going to hold off on that because we might not even need it for the rest of the stage. Yeah, we got it, Zoe. So yeah, we might not even need to be able to swim for the rest of the stage. And... If that's the case, we can go finish the stage, go out, get the ability to swim, c come back in, and it'll put us right back at the start where the water actually was. So that'll probably be slightly more convenient. Looks like we have a puzzle right here. And we'll try to figure out how to do that one right after we free that guy. I was flaming him not because I wanted to save the dude, just because I wanted that sausage that guy had. He had a sausage on his stick, dude. I guess the sausage is gone. And there's the exit, so that will give us the talisman as soon as we talk to this guy. Oh, you're pretty tough. If you ever want a permanent job, we've got a place for you here. But for the moment, I want you to have this talisman. Thanks, Four Man Max. And that one will be the talisman for whatever this place was called. I can't even remember the name now. We got that one done, and now we can keep on exploring, looking for some more goodies here. Because there is still more orbs to get, and of course more treasure to get. I gotta remember we've got that ability to hover at the end of our glide. That is going to go back that way, so I'm going to come back to that because I think I want to go this way first. There's a little nook over this way. I want to go check it out. Wait, this looks like it loops back around too. Well, crud. <laughs> well, crud. Yeah, there's water here and everything. So we'll grab all this and then we'll go back to the other side. Yeah, going to be back and forth sometimes, guys. It happens. Um, yeah, let's go this way. And then we'll charge on over here. Fly across. Do our little hover. Thankfully, Hunter taught us about that one. And now we're good. So how much treasure do we need here still? A lot. We need over 200 treasure still. So hopefully we'll find lots of yellow gems, which are worth 10. Yeah, those purple gems, the 25s, are very rare. But 5s and 10s, which are uh, kind of common, hopefully we'll find lots of those. Yep, there's a 5 right there. I don't think we've been down to that area at all. So we'll go down there as soon as I finish off this top ledge here. I don't know if this is going to loop around to somewhere important. Might. Oh, there's those tens. Heck yeah, dude. Looks like that we're back near the start, maybe. I see an area off that way to hover to as well. So let's go and defeat these guys real quick. I'm pretty sure this is a part of an orb challenge. Can we defeat that guy? We cannot. It's uh, fabulous to see you, Spyro. Now that the supercharged power-up is active, you can charge through the pedestals and send the dancing hula girls over here to help me. Oh, okay, hula girl Stella. This is a three-star difficulty. Wow. I think before this point, we've had one stars only. So we went directly from one to two. Or one, not one to two. We went directly from one to three. And there you go. We got it. That was super easy, actually. Look at that. The hula girl's ring dance blew up that idol like a Roman candle. Now I can pursue that dancing career I've dreamed of. 
Take this orb. It could help you go places. All right, there we go. Yeah, I mean, she was captured and chained up, but she still had an orb. They didn't take that from her, at least. So we're up to four orbs. Not bad, dude. Let's go get the stuff on the stairs. I kind of skipped this staircase and uh, left these gems behind as well. There might have been a couple, yeah, a couple more things around the edge here. So we'll make sure we get all these before we move on. I'll go back up top and we'll glide along to that other area that we saw. Let's just grab all this and then we'll use sparks to see if there's anything we missed. Now he's pointing up top again, so I'm thinking we got everything down in this little cavern. <laughs> Not cavern, a, a canyon maybe? Let's go up top and we'll hover along. Yeah, some of the treasure is going to be, of course, in that underwater section, so we can't get everything right now. We'll get what we can. So for this section, we're going to have to use the hover and glide. What the? Huh? Huh? I guess you can drop with that as well. Oh, I think what Hunter was saying, you have to hold forward. So if you're not holding forward, then you'll drop. But if you are holding forward, then you'll hover. Okay, I thought he was just saying that for no particular reason, but well, there you go. Or maybe you have to just be gliding for a certain amount of time before you can do it. I don't know, man. It looks like we do have to go over here. Let's check it out. Okay, we're not messing up the hover, at least. Yeah, we have so many more gems than we need for money bags right now, but there's going to be lots and lots of encounters with money bags, so we're kind of already saving up for the next thing he's inevitably going to charge us for. Grab all of those. Over this way, we've got a fireworks. So we're going to go ahead and light that one, and it should go off and blast open a treasure chest somewhere. Ooh, right behind that section, and I'm thinking if we're careful, we might be able to hover right down to it. Oh, yeah, give me all that treasure, dude. So with all of that, guys, let's take a look at our totals now. 308. So I think the last the last orb is going to be related to this giant tiki thing. And I think we might be able to do that without the water. If we go over here and just stand here. Uh, maybe not. Maybe the orb I'm thinking of is related to that puzzle back at the, uh, at the end. So let's go check that out real quick before we exit stage. I could have sworn we just jump on these things and it does stuff, but maybe not, dude. Okay, so maybe we can't do this quite yet. I'm not really sure, guys. Yeah, well, let's go ahead and return home. Let's go to Money Bags and buy that swimming upgrade. Huh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Ah. The sausage! <laughs> oh, Money Bags! Hello there, Spyro. Would you like to learn to swim underwater? I suppose I could teach you for <clears throat> a small fee. Yeah, yeah, 500 Wait. gems. Okay, when you jump in the water, you can use your left stick to move around the surface. Use the charge button to dive underwater. When you're underwater, use the jump button to paddle and charge button to charge. All right, thanks, money bags. Thanks for taking all my money, dude. Let's go back in. Now that we've got this ability, I think we can finish off this stage. Alrighty, my dudes, we've got the ability to swim now, so let's go ahead and dive on in. Oh, we got a secret tunnel. Let's go up this secret tunnel and see what is on the other side. Wow, more treasure and an orb. Okay, so it's not marked on the mini-map there, but there is an orb challenge over this way. I've been locked in here with all our tools, and the giant idle heads won't let the workers in unless we can solve the three puzzles they've given us. Aha, puzzles. Okay, First four man puzzle bud. Was to turn all these blocks yellow. If you have trouble, come back and talk to me. Turn all the blocks yellow. A three-star difficulty. All right, so we have to turn them all yellow. Oh, and if we jump on one, it flips the ones next to it, right? I think what we do... Oh, I can turn them all off. There we go, dude. I turned all of them off. Uh, what if we now... Hmm. Now, if I do the corners, it'll light up like that. That's not gonna work. Okay, can we reset this puzzle? Hold on. Let me go touch all these. That did not work at all. Wait, I think we're back where we started. Okay, okay. Or maybe we're opposite from where we started. I don't remember. I think I did it. I think I did it, guys. We flipped that one, and then we flipped this one. And now we can do these sides. Yeah, we got it, dude. We got it. Boom. Wow, Spyro, you did it. Uh, I mean, uh, I know you could do it. Now, meet me at the pond for the next challenge. Okay, so all of the stuff I was thinking about earlier is all related to this guy. So we had our first puzzle right there. Also a big treasure chest here. Uh, but then we're going to have something near the water, which is something I was remembering with the giant tiki guy. And then I think we'll have the third puzzle be the one at the end. So they're all connected to this dude. 
So let's go around the water and collect some treasure first, and then we'll go up and do that that challenge there. I don't think those little fishies are going to have any treasure for us. Some enemies... I actually... I don't even know if they hide treasure in enemies in this game like they did for Spyro 1. Well, let's go around and collect what we can down here. All these different pots to break. I can't really use our flames underwater. They just kind of come out as little bubbles. Um, is that everything? Come on, Sparks, help me out. Pointing over this way. Did I miss something in the corner? Aha, we did. So we'll grab those. Anything else, Sparks? He's pointing. Where is he pointing? Up top? It's hard to see. It's kind of dark down here. Okay, where are we going, Sparks? Okay, he's pointing that way, so I think we got everything in the water. The says he's hungry and won't be satisfied until he's swallowed ten fish. He's got a sensitive stomach, so watch what kind of fish you feed him. Okay, the idol is very picky. Another three-star difficulty here. Is he like bluefish? Okay, blue and yellow is good. I'm guessing there's going to be like red or green, which are going to be bad. Blue, yellow, good. What else do we got? Yeah, blue, yellow, good. Fish? Yeah, that's a big boy fish. That's still counted. Okay, no red fish. No red fish. Where are you, fishies? There we go. Four more fish. That's a blue one. Let's get him. That's a red one. Let's skip him. Blue one. Good. Two to go. What's next? What's next? Game? Give me fishies! Give me fishies, game! Come on! Give me fishies! Fish? There we go. And last one. There you are, buddy. So there we go. We only had one red fish the entire time. Puzzle to go. I'll meet you over by the colored stones for your final challenge. There it is, man. So now we have to go towards the end. I'm going to try and see. I'll, I'll consult Sparks and see if there's any treasure I missed along the way. But if not, I'll just meet you guys at the puzzle. Here we go. You jump on these stones in the correct order. You will solve the puzzle. I only know what the first one is. It's up to you to figure the rest out. All right. Three star difficulty again. So the first one is star. So I'm guessing the clue is that we go to the star next. And then this one is like a eight side, an octagon. So do we go to the octagon next? Uh, yeah, this one's a square. We don't have any squares. We don't have any octagons. Oh, but it's red. It's red. Okay. And then this one's a moon and then that one's a triangle. Okay. So that's a pretty easy puzzle there. Got him, dude. And that opens the nice big job, boy treasure. Tyro. You're pretty smart for a dragon. Uh, all I have to give you is this shiny thing I found in our toolbox. All right, man. Here we go. Got ourselves another orb. I think that's it for this stage. We do still have 12 treasure to get. So I'll have to go look for those ones, guys. But I'll just uh, cut ahead and I'll meet you guys when we find it. And I think the last bit of treasure is up this way. We had this kind of watery section, and I'm thinking now we might be able to dive inside. I don't see anything back there, but maybe down this way? Okay, so I probably could have got this before, actually, because this one is not even underwater. And there is the final 12 treasure. So there you go, guys. This level is 100% completed. Let me just double check, because the game also has skill points. Let me see if there's any here. Land on idle. Hmm. Well... <laughs> This episode's already kind of long, guys, so I think we're going to go ahead and wrap things up here for today. We'll come back next time. We'll do that uh, skill point to land on an idol, and we'll keep on working on some more stages. I'll see you guys then. Take care.